Hi folks, I've decided to make a series of videos on what I call the all UC4H copter. And the reason for that is twofold. First, this project, this UC4H project, this UR we can for hobbyists project uh, is getting two years old now. So it's always difficult to define a precise birthday for such a flowing project. But my project web page I started well a few months later. But the first time I went public with this project was at RC Groups and this thread here, which I started in April. And I started also thread at Autopilot Discuss it also in April. So it's time to celebrate the second anniversary of this project. Yeah. So the second reason for doing this series of videos is that this project has reached a point which I really would call a milestone. Namely, it's now possible to build a complete copter using only UC4H components, which means that the communication totally relies on only the CAN bus, on only UAV CAN. So to make this clear, no SPI, no IT2C, no PWM, no ADC, none of the scrappy buses, only CAN bus, only UAV CAN, only UC4H component. And that's not all of it. The best of it and the most important of that is that this all UC4H copter delivers or provides you with unprecedented features and functions. So I have listed them on my web page in this list here. So it's a long list with a long uh, list of features. And you see that with stable autocopter, you just get some of them, which are important, but that's just some of them. But when you use this My Better Copter fork in combination with the UC4H components, you really get a lot more features uh, like a dual GPS, in particular the power brick features, EC telem telemetry, the UR tunnels, and so on and so forth. And it's one purpose of this video series to show you these features and components which you uh, get out of this project. Now, let me briefly show you what we're actually talking about. So that's the copter here. That's this all UC4H copter. Let me switch it on so that you can see a bit more of it. Okay. Here we go, all lights on. Okay, like always, you have a flight controller, which is a cube here, and I've designed a particular uh, cube carrier board, and which is made for the purpose. So you can immediately see how slim it is, how few connections there are, and these are all connections. So that's the CAN bus, which these are all the connection to the flight controller. Um, the second thing are these GPSs. So you see I've designed such a GPS uh, adapter board where you can mount standard uh, GPS models on it. But this module, this board also has a barometer on it. It also has a magnetometer on it. And it also gives you such an, yeah, such an indicator lead. And you can see we have two of them. And I really would recommend you to use two GPSs. That's just great. Uh, the next uh, thing we have is the power brick, which provides you with uh, high precision current measurement, high pre precision charge counting and energy counting. And in addition, it also has a feature uh, which allows you to measure the multi-cell voltage, so each cell voltage here. The next thing are the ECs. So I've designed here such adapter boards for KISS ECs, which in addition or in particular provides your EC telemetry in a very complete 
fashion. And another very nice aspect is that you very easily can attach leads to it so that you very easily can build a lightning system for your uh, copter. And I call this the Oreo leads because the lightning pattern is basically identical to that what is used by the Oreo leads of the 3DR Solo. Okay, the next part, you can see there's a display. It's not on I2C, like usually it's also on the CAN bus. So that's a display. Then you also see this, 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 this slides here, uh, which I call the uh, notifiers. And here the indicator lead. And the last piece is a rangefinder, where you also can see that I've designed such a huge uh, uh, PCB adapter board to attach this rangefinder to the CAN bus. So that's the copter we are talking about, and these are the components we, we are going to talk about. And this will be the content of the next episode of this video series. Now this video here, the first episode, the introduction episode, I will finish by showing you a short footage of a flight in my backyard just for fun so that you also can see this copter at least briefly in real action. Uh, I will say goodbye for now and see you in the next episode.